wasn't happy in the third period, Brendan. Thought they sat back on their heels. It's a home heavy schedule for the Islanders in October. First three all here at the Coliseum. That ends tonight. Ryan Pollock's pass directed in across the line. Nelson steps, waits, goes to the backhand, and getting a piece of it was Pearson on the way by. Got his wires crossed there with Dreisaitl. Islanders couldn't get control of the puck, though, but Leo Komarov steals it away. Beauvillier to the net, scores! Beauvillier's hot start continues as he bags a short hand and go. Vincent on the forehand. I don't know that he got it all the way upstairs, but look at the fake, and then he zings it right up. I believe it was Yurcho. Yeah, Yurcho. Stepped in that lane as this one picked up by Nugent Hopkins, and Broussard stayed with him, but his pass went to Neal, and he scores! Derek Broussard stole the puck and wound up setting up James Neal. Three goals in three games for Neal. It's tied here late in the first. Swinger. Quick little pass, and James Neal is able to... Nurse sends it over for McDavid. Side of the net, Neal gives it back to McDavid, and now Nurse. 35 seconds to go in the period. All power play time here for the Oilers. Side of the net, James Neal has scored again. James Neal scores two in a minute and a half, and the Oilers have a lead. He never gets, never gets set. A little unsure where that puck's going. Cleft bomb again for Dreisaitl. Quick pass over to the skates of McDavid. Cleft bomb settles it, gives it to him. Dreisaitl tip, they score. A hat trick for James Neal. They just continue to move it around and watch, watch his lady comes all the way across, and then it's just a tap in for. For James Neal. James will still wind up the all-time leader in games played in Islanders history by the time his contract is over. Here's McDavid feeding a trailing dry setup. They go back in front, it's kicked in. His job, Connor McDavid, you give him time and space. And, and then there's the pass across right off the skate. I mean, it hasn't been restored that they had early on. Broussard turned it over trying to come to the net. It's Neal for Yurcho. Tomas Yurcho. Sends it down, they score. It's James Neal with the magic touch tonight. That's his fourth as he slips it through Grice. Thomas Grice is just not, he can't believe it. It, it. This puck goes in the net, but doesn't get his, he's there, but he doesn't close it off. Wound up going back to Finland and then Russia. Last five years in the KHL before last year coming and joining the Oilers. As Dobson sets up a goal for Matt Martin in his NHL debut. One good thing that comes out of this game, and there's the exchange, a little pass back to Dobson. And then the quick release pass. Rocks so will take another look at this, Brendan, down to the lower left side. Watch the skate come out. Oh, now, that's close, huh, where they got the toe of a stick. You see Riley Shane right there immediately saying no and shaking his head. It goes off the skate, and he never does quite touch it with his stick and it is now officially under review. Yeah, does he get any part of it before it completely crosses the line? Can't tell from that angle, but right, it's going to be. Bounced off a of skate and goes in. That could be a good goal. So it, it's a little bit of a gray area here for the officials to try and figure out. Is that a kicking motion? Yeah. Or does he just angle his skate? Steve Kazari will fill us in. After review, the puck was kicked into the net. We have no ball on the play. So they take it off the board, and it's still 5-2 Oilers. And the assist for Noah Dobson is the highlight of the game in his NHL debut. James Neal steals the show for the Edmonton Oilers, scoring four times in a 5-2 win.